Hello friends, this video on coordination compound part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Okay, so let's understand the primary and secondary valency once again. See, primary valency is nothing but the oxidation state of central. It is ionizable and it is variable. For example, in this case, cobalt has the oxidation state of plus 3. It is not also, this is the oxidation state. This is something we know. For example, NaCl has oxidation state of plus 1 and that is my primary valency. CaCl2 has oxidation state of plus 2, that is my primary valency. This is something we know and it is ionizable. Primary valency is ionizable. And it is variable also. For example, iron can have, iron can have FeCl2, FeCl3, we can talk about this. Iron has the primary valency of 3, iron has the primary valency of 2. Okay, so this is variable and ionizable, two important characteristics of primary valency. This is nothing but oxidation state. Oxidation state of central atom. That is my primary valency. So we talk about secondary valency, it is also called coordination number also called coordination number again a fancy term for the same thing this is nothing but my number of groups or legends i'll say anyway, we have not introduced the term legends so let me use the word legend groups bound to a bound directly to i'll say because it's directly bounded directly to central metal ion so this in this case 1 2 3 4 5 6 ammonia molecules so the coordination number will be or the secondary valency will be 6 and please note the best part it is non ionizable and this is fixed for a given so cobalt if you see we'll see in this chapter, observe that cobalt will always have a secondary valency of 6. In this observe in the whole chapter. That we can, wherever it comes, I can show you that part. Okay. So, in this case, cobalt, the primary valency is 3. And that is variable. It changes. Cobalt can have oxidation state of plus 2 also. So, that becomes the primary valency. But secondary valency is nothing but the number of groups bond directly to a central metal ion. Also called coordination number. And this value is fixed. For a given metal, cobalt will always have secondary valency of 6 and this is non-ionizable. So if you put this in the solution, this bonds will not break. They are stronger bonds, they will not break, they will not ionize. Okay. So let's see the theory of the Werner for the coordination compound. So he proposed that in the coordination compound, the metal show two type of linkage or valencies called primary and secondary valencies. We just saw primary valency is nothing but the oxidation state of the central atom. For example, with this primary valency, this, these chlorines are attached. And the secondary valency is nothing but the number of groups or this is called legends. We'll understand this term in the next few slides. The number of groups that are directly attached to the central metal. For example, in this case, the secondary valency is 6. And the primary valency is 3. So primary valency is 3 in this case the secondary valency states in this particular case okay and he also told the primary valencies are normally ionizable so this is ionizable and they are typically satisfied by negative ions the secondary valencies are non ionizable please note these secondary valencies are non ionizable and they are satisfied by neutral molecules or negative ions. So this, this can be either neutral or negative. So it can't be positive. You see that. These are called legends actually. And this will be either neutral or negative. Okay. And the secondary valency is nothing but equal to the coordination number and is fixed for a given metal. For example, cobalt will always be 6. Okay. And the ions of the group bonded by the secondary linkage to the metal have the characteristic spa spatial arrangement and if nothing but the structure. In the space, in three-dimensional space, they have a characteristic uh, spatial arrangement 
corresponding to different coordination number. For example, six, it will be uh, what do you call octahedral. Four, it can be tetrahedral or square planar. And such spatial arrangement is called polyhedra, coordination polyhedra. Okay. So the arrangement, three-dimensional arrangement of coordination compound is called polyhedra. Please note the three-dimensional arrangement of coordination compound is called polyhedra. For example, this is a polyhedra. Actually, because why? Because here we are showing a three-dimensional arrangement. This is octahedral. As you see, this is octahedral arrangement we are showing. Okay. We talk about tetrahedral arrangement, cubic nickel. This is CO, CO, CO. We'll talk more about the structure. This is a tetrahedral. NiCO4 is tetrahedral. We have square planar also. Pt, CO, 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 and CO. This is square planar. We'll talk more about these shapes in the next few slides. We'll talk about how to find the shapes. But in this theory, he discussed about this also. He, does, he discussed not in detail, but he told that there are the various uh, shapes possible. And he told that the most common shape is the square planar and uh, tetrahedral and octahedral for coordination point. There are other shapes possible also, but he just told that these many shapes are possible, but the in-depth analysis of why this particular coordination compound should be octahedral or why this particular coordination compound should be square planar or tetrahedral, those things were not discussed by alpha beta. Okay, so he just gave the term primary and secondary valences and he told the characteristics of primary and secondary valences. He talked about the coordination polyhedra and uh, he, he talked about the fact that the then this ions outside the square back bracket are called counter ions. In fact, we'll talk about these terms again. These are called counter ions, and this whole box is called coordination entity. Coordination. So the whole coordination compound has coordination entity. That is why it is entity because the whole thing doesn't break in in solution. So it's one entity. It doesn't break. It's called coordination entity, and it's called counter ions. The the ones outside. Uh, in the coordination box and they are really ionizable. So they are called counter ions. Okay. So that's all uh, proposed by Alfred Wada in his theory. Okay. We'll take some numerical on this. So the question is on the basis of the following observation may be the aqueous solution. Assign the secondary valencies to the metal in the following compound. So let's take the first one. So it gives four chlorine molecules. That means I have Platinum, and I have four, two. Sorry, it gives two chlorine molecules. A two chlorine molecule is out. Apart from that, whatever remaining is inside, so four and S three is inside. This is the structure. So, looking at this, you can say that the palladium is linked to four ammonia directly, and this is inside this coordination entity. So, the coordination number is what? That is my secondary valency, right? And that is the question asked. Find the secondary valency or the coordination number. Let's talk about this. NiCl two six H two. So this is a nickel, and it, since it gives two chlorine molecules, so let me put two chlorine molecule out. The remaining is what? Only six water molecules. So six water molecule will be inside. So now you see this nickel is linked to six water molecule. So the coordination number is six. Please note that if you see nickel has a coordination number number six, you will see everywhere nickel will have coordination number six. You will see that. This gives zero, zero Cl molecule. That means everything is inside. So my platinum, Cl four, HCl two. Everything is inside. So if everything is inside. If you see chlorine four plus two HCl, again the coordination number is six. Secondary balance is six. This let's take COCl three four and S three. So cobalt is my central metal. So let's put that, and then it gives one chlorine molecule, right? AgCl. So put one chlorine molecule out, and remaining is inside. So two chlorine molecule they were remaining because they were three chlorine molecules, and out of that one is used. So two chlorine will come inside, and four ammonia will come inside. So if you see now. So we have four plus two six. So here also the coordination number is six. So in the next case, we get zero 
moles of chlorine. So everything is inside that is PP, Cl2, then 2NH3 molecule, everything is inside this box. So 2 plus 2, 4. So coordination number is 4, secondary so balance is pretty easy. See, just find out how many moles of chlorine you get and just put it outside, remaining everything inside the box. And that and then count the number of atoms or groups attached to central atom, central metal. For example, in this case, platinum 2 plus 2, 4, so coordination number 4. In this case, palladium 4 ammonia, coordination number is 4. In this case, nickel 6 water molecule, coordination number is 6. Okay. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attend free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.